What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design this simple flyer in Corel Draw. If you're new, consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future uploads. Coming over here, guys, are the stock images we'll be working with. I have these multiple backgrounds and I got them from Google. All right, we have the logo and um, we have these multiple pictures which we'll be working with. All right, so as you can see, I've taken out the backgrounds. All right, so if you don't have to take a background in Photoshop or Corel Draw, you can check out my previous videos. I'm gonna put the link of all those stock images in the down description below. These are my clients' pictures. All right, so I, I'll put the link of all this in the down description below, so you can follow up with the design. All right, so guys, without any further ado, let's get straight to the video. All right, guys, welcome to Corel Draw, and the size we'll be working with, guys, is. 5 by 5 inches all right so if you don't know how to change your size all you need to do is go to your property bro locate your unit and um, that's drawing unit and change it to inches all right so then you can go to your dimension and change it to 5 by 5 inches and press enter and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in this rectangle and draw a box over here and as you can see it's not fitted to frame so what we're going to do is just change as usual 5 by 5 inches and press letter P on your keyboard to align it to the frame right so as you can see we'll have a black stroke so to remove that black stroke or into this come over to this sign we have here and um, right click on it as you can see we have set outline color so click on it and it's going to take it out so the next thing we're going to do guys is import our stock images so to do that right click over here or or come over to your file on your menu bar and locate import all right so it's just a shortcut over here just right click and locate import the shortcut is ctrl i all right so once you do that this is going to come up so locate where your file are saved so mine is saving this video and um we have this folder all right so what i'm going to do is select all the stock images so the ones we'll be working with all right so once you're done selecting all click on import and just place them to this point and basically leave them there all right so over here guys these are the text we'll be working with and i'm going to put the link as i said in the down description below so the first thing i'm going to do guys is bring in this background and scale it up this way all right guys so what i'm going to do is right click on it and select power clip to place it inside the frame so once you do that this arrow is going to come up so just locate your frame and just left click on it this way and boom it's going to take itself in there so to edit it and make it fit into frame all you need to do is right click and select edit power clip all right so once you do that you can now scale this up this way all right so once you scale it up this way you can leave that to that and um click on finish and you're good to go for now so the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in our ellipse tool and draw a cycle over here this way all right so draw a cycle let's give it a black outline so we can see it very well so draw the cycle and um just leave it to this for now and um let's leave it here so what we're going to do is duplicate the cycle we're going to duplicate the cycle by holding shifts on your keyboard then point to this anchor point and draw out this way so once you do that just right click this way and boom you have a double cycle so we can select all and reduce it this way all right guys so this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in this background all right and um I'm going to right click this way and select power clip and place it inside the first cycle we have here this way all right so what we're going to do is right click and um, edit power clip to make sure it's fitted to frame so scale it up this way and you can basically leave that to that so what we're going to do basically now is just use your transparency tool and fade out this way fade out the down part this way and leave that to that so what we're going to do is just click on finish and we're good to go so the next thing i'm going to do is as you can see the second cycle is hidden behind so just select it this way and use shift page up on your keyboard to bring it forward 
this way so this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in this background and right click on it select power clip inside and this arrow is going to come up so look at the cycle the second cycle we have and place it inside this way so this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is right click on it again and select edit power clip to fit it to frame this way all right guys so this is what you're going to have basically so fit it to frame this way so i'm going to blow this background a bit so go to your effects on your menu bar and select blow in this case we'll be using guazian blow so select guazian blow and we're going to just blow it a bit all right so i think this is fine 17.8 8 pixels is fine for this so just click ok and leave that to that for now so now click on finish and what we're going to do is remove this outline select all and come over to this point and right click on it select set outline color and boom our outline is out so the next thing i'm going to do guys is select this one this one all right and use your shadow tool on your tools bar and apply a shadow to this this way all right guys so what we're going to do guys is reduce our feathering to 10 all right so we're going to use this i don't know the name of that so just take it up because this um sign here is fading out you understand the down one is increasing the shadow as you can see this take it up is to fade it out all right so we can basically leave that that for now or let's reduce this to eight all right the feathering so as you can see guys this um because we faded the background inside so it's the shadow will be affecting this so basically what you're going to do is just give it a white color this way so this is what you're going to have guys so as you can see we have our perfect background and cycle this way all right guys so this is what you're going to have so let's just place this make it look as if it's touching the edge here all right guys so as you can see it's actually going out of the frame but we're going to power clip it inside when we're done with what we're doing all right guys so let's continue so next thing we're going to do is bring in this background and right click on it select power clip and place it inside this background all right this way so what you're going to do is edit power clip this way by right clicking on it and select edit power clip now scale this up this way all right so once you scale it up let me just increase this a bit this way all right so once you scale it up this way what you're going to do guys is go to your effects and select blur and locate guardian blur and we're going to blur this a bit just a little bit all right just a little bit this way okay so this is what you're going to have now select your transparency tool and go to your blend mode now locate half light all right so this is what you're going to have guys so basically this is what you are going to have so let's scale this up a bit and basically let's increase the uh, the blur a bit all right so this is what you are going to have all right guys this is what you are going to have now click on um, finish all right and basically leave that that so the next thing i'm going to do guys is copy this Control c to copy then Control v to paste all right so we have double of this now what i'm going to do is right click and select frame type and remove frame all right so once you do that just click on ok and now you have an empty frame here now give it a white color and once you do that guys all you need to do is just hold shift and scale this down a bit now use your transparency tool and fade out this part all right this way all right fade out this part this way now give it a blue color all right so once you do that now scale it on down a bit now you have double of this and once you do that give it a white color guys so this is what you're going to have guys so basically let's reduce the um the opacity this way and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in our um images and i'm going to place this over here this way and bring this over here this way all right so i'm going to bring this this way over here and place this one here so let's bring it forward using shift page up and bring it forward this way so this is what you're going to have guys so basically let's arrange our um images this way all right so scale this up 
and scale this up all right guys so scale this up this way and place this one here bring it over here guys so basically guys this is what you are going to have once you're done with this this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do guys is use our transparency tool to feather the edges as you can see the edges are kind of sharp the edges of the back um, the images are sharp so what you're going to do is use transparency tool now select the first image and blow this way all right fade out here this way now convert it to bitmap go to your bitmap and select convert to bitmap now select your color mode as rgb and leave your resolution as 300 and click ok and fade out this part the more all right all right guys so basically this is what you're going to have guys so now select this second one and blend it this way all right blend it to the background this way all right so convert it to bitmap and blend this part also all right so select the third one and blend it to the background this way all right guys blend it to the background this way now select the third the fourth one and um, blend to the background this way convert it to bitmap all right and um, blend this part all right guys so i'm going to convert this one the, the man on suit and blend it as you can see it's kind of showing on the on the third um image so basically this is what you're going to have guys so now i'm going to use select this image and go to your effect select adjust and increase go to your cost and uh, brightness and contrast and increase the let's keep this to zero and keep this to zero all right so let's increase our contrast to give the image kind of a rich um effect all right all right so click on ok select your second image and go to effects then apply brightness and contrast all right to this just to make the image pop up and look nicer so apply same thing to that go to your effect adjust and select brightness and contrast increase your contrast to let's say basically from the preview you're seeing here if any, anyhow it comes out and you're okay with it then you're fine just click ok and select the third one the fourth one sorry and um, go to adjust brightness and contrast and um as you can see guys this is it and this is what we are going to have guys so let me just basically increase and expand this more all right so let me bitmap this one and fill out this so basically guys anyhow you want it blended on the background do you understand anyhow you want it blended on the background and you, you think it's fine by you and basically you're good to go guys all right guys so let's scale this up this way a bit so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this logo so as you can see guys is on a jpeg format so we can't edit it so to enable you edit it all you need to do is um duplicate this one this way all right so come over to your bitmap and select mode then go to black and white all right now you can kind of decrease or increase the trash hold now click on ok all right now go to your trace bitmap and select outline trace then line arts all right now allow this to load okay so once it's done loading you'll see a preview here all right guys so we have our preview and um now what we're going to do is um basically click on ok and delete this one now ungroup and delete all this um white white particles we don't want all right so basically this is what you're going to have guys all right this is what you're going to have now the next thing i'm going to do guys is use my eyedropper tool and select pick a color over here and drop it this drop here drop here drop here all right then select again pick up this color and drop it here all right already you have this color so just apply it over here and you can basically delete this one now what you're going to do is select all and group it this way now bring it over here and just leave that that for now 
now just decrease and place it over here so we are good with that for now so what we're going to do guys is basically import our text all right so select all ctrl a to select and ctrl c to copy now select your text and place it over here ctrl v to paste let's give it a white color so we can see now reduce the size and place it over here now what we're going to do is cut out this and ctrl x to cut and paste it over here now let's bring this over here and give it a font called Vantley. I'm going to put the link or the name of this font in the down description below. So I'm going to give it a black color so we can see it basically since we're placing it in a white background. Now select all Ctrl A and um, Shift F3 on your keyboard to change the uppercase to to change the case to uppercase. All right, this way. Now this is what you're going to have. So I'm going to break this apart using my cursor. So I'm going to place a cursor here and press enter. All right. So once you do that, place a cursor and press enter. Now cut out this part ctrl x to cut and ctrl v to paste it here now select and go to your property bar select your alignment and use right alignment now you can just basically reduce this and place it here now use your shape to on your toolbar to reduce the space in this way all right i believe somebody's understanding if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up okay guys so this is what you're going to have basically this is what you're going to have now what we're going to do is use our rectangle tool and draw a box here this way all right so give it this color my color draw always apply what i've done before it will apply itself i don't know why so let's just leave that to that now place this over here as you can see it's hidden behind so use shift page up to bring it forward this way now give it a white color and you can basically scale this up this way all right so let's leave that to that and you can basically select all and group it and um, scale it up a bit to make it bigger now this is what you are going to have guys all right this is what you are going to have now the next thing i'm going to do guys is select this and cut it out this way now let's place this over here for now so what we're going to do is basically change our fonts to this i don't know the name of this font guys i'll just put the name for you guys all right i'll put the name of this font for you guys so what we're going to do guys is basically break this use your control uh, your cursor to break it apart this way now select ctrl a and use shift f3 to basically change to capsule letter all right so what you're going to do guys is scale this up and use ctrl k on your keyboard to break it apart this way now what you're going to do guys is basically use this anchor point and scale this up like this all right scale it up like this and you can basically scale this one this way also now this is what you're going to have now the next thing i'm going to do guys is use my Go to your tools bar and select this um, envelope tool. Now delete this tool node over here. Delete this one. Now right click on it and select to line. Right click on this, select to line. Right click on this, convert it to line. Right click on it and convert it to line. Now this is what you're going to have. So basically what you're going to do is just scale this up this way. Bring this up this way and bring this up this way all right so take this one down a bit okay guys so basically this is what you're going to have guys this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is scale this up now let's apply same thing to this all right delete this and delete this change to line convert to line right click and convert to line Right click to the line and convert to line then right click over here convert it to line and what you're going to do guys is basically take this one down this way all right and um, let's scale this one up this way okay guys so this is what you are going to have now so the next thing i'm going to do guys is basically let me adjust this first of all all right 
so what we're going to do guys is basically use our extra to this one and um, apply this this way click and drag so let me change the color so go to your property bar and choose extrude color all right let's just change the color so we can see what we're doing now this is what you're going to have guys so basically you can leave this to this this way and um what we're going to do guys is right click on it and select break extrude apart and this is what you're going to have guys so you're left with this and this so what we're going to do now guys is select this and give this color all right so let's just kind of apply this yellow but kind of gold yellow all right so this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do is ungroup this the 3d we have here now select this yellow color all right all right what we're going to do is use our interactive field tool and draw this way all right now select the white node and come over to this side and give it like this yellow color all right so adjust it to a darker one you can actually adjust the color this way all right so select this one and also adjust it adjust the color all right so basically adjust the color this way all right guys so what you're going to do guys is basically copy this color and place it over here all right so to copy a color is just right click and drag this way and place it where you want to copy it and just leave it now select copy field here i've taught you guys in my previous videos so guys apply the same thing to this all right apply the same thing to this now apply the same here now use your um, interactive field tool to adjust the color this way all right guys adjust the color anyhow you think is okay for you you can leave it if it's fine by you you can leave it guys all right so basically do the same all right guys so basically do the same so what we're going to do is copy this color and place it here all right so copy the color and place it there adjust this way all right so copy this one place it here copy place here and copy and place here same thing here applicable to this all right so what we're going to do is basically apply using ctrl r to just duplicate the colors all right ctrl r to duplicate the colors this way all right guys so basically this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is apply extrude to this this one and um let's leave this to this for now and what we're going to do guys is basically change the color so we can see what we are doing all right like we did earlier so bring this one down and use shift page up to bring it forward this way all right so what we're going to do is select the extrude and right click on it select break extrude the parts so once you do that you can ungroup it and once you group as you can see everything is one on its own so what you're going to do is just copy these colors and um, right click and drag and place it over here now select copy field here all right so i copy the wrong color so copy field here and basically apply this way ctrl r to apply the colors to 
the selected areas you want to apply them to so this way now copy this color and place it over here all right guys so this is what you're going to have basically for now this is what you are going to have now the next thing you're going to do guys is let me scale this up this way all right the next thing you're going to do guys is select all all right and group it now select your shadow to and apply a shadow to it this way all right now what you're going to do is just reduce the feathering to 10 on your property bar now what you're going to do is break the shadow apart ctrl k to break it apart this way now bring this down bring it down this way all right guys this way now the next thing you're going to do guys is basically select this one ungroup it and select only this one group it and give it a shadow all right give it a shadow on its own and once you do that break the shadow apart and bring it down so it can demarcate between the up one and the down one so this way as you can see now this is what you are going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do guys is um basically bring in this date let's take this up a bit all right i'm going to copy this date and time and place it over here all right guys so we're going to use the font called vent lead for this and um what i'm going to do is just delete this and put it this way all right so select this and cut it out and place it over here now break this apart and bring this over here so basically now guys what you're going to do is give this a space this way all right so let's shorten this to august this way now give it use shift f3 to give it an uppercase all right so you can scale this down a bit and place it over here all right guys so let's copy this and give this let's say 13 reduce this th and um, place it over here all right so 14 and let's leave this to this so use your uh, freehand tool and draw a line over here all right guys now give it a white color okay guys so we can basically increase the use f12 on your keyboard increase the weight of the line to let's say 1.5 oh, it's too much let's say 1 5.0 that's fine now bring in this 5 pm now change to capsule letter shift f3 on your keyboard so scale this down a bit all right now you can add um, 9 am 5 am to 9 am all right so bring this down and we'll give this friday all right give it this color now scale it up scale it out a bit all right this way okay guys so bring this and give this saturday this way now you can basically scale this up all right so basically this is what you're going to have guys now what we're going to do is reduce this to align it all right guys so let's leave this to this and um, you can basically scale it up and leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do guys is cut out this let's delete this one all right so i'm going to cut out this part that's the venue and um, bring this one over here and place this one here give it a black color all right so let's place this one here and give it capsule letter shift f3 on your keyboard and give it a center alignment this way now you can basically scale this down a bit all right bold it so once you do that what you're going to do guys is basically use your freehand to and draw a line this way give it a black outline 
all right so once you do that you can bring this one down and select all press letter c to align all to the middle and bring this one down here that's the venue let's delete this venue and um, give it a black color delete the ads and um, remove this dot dot give it capsule letter using shift f3 all right delete this one and you can basically scale this down a bit and leave this to this all right guys so what we're going to do guys is basically bring this one change to capsule letter shift f3 give it a black color and place this over here all right so you can reduce this and use your shape to and increase the space this way and basically this is what you're going to have guys now you can basically scale this down a bit and take it up all right so this is what you are going to have so the next thing we're going to do guys is um let me take this up this way all right so the next thing we're going to do guys is basically i'm going to copy this and place it here so let's type the names of the guest we have we have duo you got guest artist all right so we're going to place this over here and break it using ctrl k so i'm going to reduce this one this way all right so let's just keep it there and bring this one here all right so i'm going to give this name this way convener all right so i'm going to copy this one and place it here also change the name isaac all right So this is the name i don't know what he is anyway so let's just basically leave that this way and cut this one copy bring it over here let's copy this one so we can align it over here this way all right so let's give this this way all right so type and leave that as guest artist so this is basically what you're going to have for now guys so what i'm going to do is import this light flay all right so i'm going to import light flay and um, i'm going to put the link of that in the down description below so you can actually check it out and make use of it guys all right so i'm going to import this and um what i'm going to do is bring it over here um change to screen using your transparency tool go to your blend mode and change to screen this way scale it up and just basically place that over there and um, bring one down here all right so once you do that you can basically put one here and you're good to go for now so what you're going to do guys is import um, a location icon all right let's import a location icon location icon so i'm going to place this here so as you can see we can basically change the color so to do that basically just go to your bitmap select mode black and white and um, go to your trace bitmap outline trace line art and leave that to load for now so you can see the preview here it has taken out the background automatically so you can basically delete this one and remove this now give it this red color all right so let's place it over here and just scale it up so this is the address and guys now this is how to design this simple but unique flyer in color draw give this video a thumbs up guys and share with your friends and let me know what you think about this flyer in the comment section below so see you guys in my next video